Hey guys, it's Daniel from uh, Bridgetown Fire. I just want to give you a little quick demo on how to send messages with your iron responding system from an Android device uh, from the app. Just a little disclaimer, if your profile in iron responding has not been enabled to send messages through, then you will not be able to send messages through the app either. So again, your system administrator will have to enable your ability to send messages, and once that takes place, then the features will become available in your iron responding. So... As always, uh, we're going to go to the menu right up here, um, and we're going to go into messaging. So find your messaging in the menu itself, um, and you can actually go down through here, and you can see all the previous messages that have been sent out. So we're going to go up to the top, and we're going to go right here, and we're going to go to the new message function, top right. So this allows us to um, go in and uh, send the new message. So uh, first off, you need to go in and in this two box uh, to add contacts to the two box, all you need to do is go to the little man here and you can either add individual or your groups that you have previously set up. So let's go in. I'm going to add myself just because I can. And once you add yourself, uh, just click the OK button up here, and you will select yourself. As you can see, you actually have your I am responding or your uh, recipient right there. So depending on how you want to send it, um, with us we use mail and text. Pages aren't so popular anymore with our department. But oh, excuse me. Uh, some people do have an alternate under the page or number. So I'm going to go to mail and text. So as you can see, I selected both the mail and text function of that. Um, and then this is the window that you actually write the message. And you can go, hey, uh, don't forget your books for tomorrow don't forget your books for tomorrow um, there is a function in I am responding uh, where you can actually set a do not disturb setting so during a certain time of the day you can um, set your phone so that way you're not going to be disturbed for instance if you sleep or whatnot um, it's completely up to you if you want to override that, you would simply just check this box right here. And no matter what a member's profile is set to, you will override it. Uh, you have the option now as well to uh, save it as a template. Obviously, a message like that, you're not going to. Uh, and you can actually schedule this message as well so that we can, it can drop at a certain time. Uh, I work do this a lot when I'm working night shifts. And I'm actually um, putting stuff out for the next morning. I obviously don't want to send messages at 11 o'clock at night. So what I will do is I will schedule to drop at like 8 o'clock the next morning when most people are awake. Um, and the only other feature you can do now is you can actually go ahead and select a file. So you can select a file from your uh, hard drive and you can actually attach it to that. Now how that works is it uploads to a uh, cloud-based service and stays active on the cloud-based service for 45 days. After 45 days, they delete your file. So um, we use this function, believe it or not, to send out our monthly financials and meeting minutes to our membership so that way they have it right on their phone or in their inbox um, prior to our monthly meetings. So this is some features in new messaging. So we're going to go ahead and uh, go right up here to the top. We're not going to do anything special. It's just a basic message, and we're going to uh, send this message. So send, and something should pop up here momentarily, way up top, let's see it come through maybe, and there you go, see, there I am, don't forget your books for tomorrow, and that's a text message that came through, and I probably got an email here in a second too, and there's my email, as you can see, I just got my email, from myself, this email was sent by Daniel Cheeseman. Uh, don't forget your books for tomorrow. And that was sent through the I'm Responding system. So, anyways, guys, that's just a quick little dirty video about how to um, 
about how to use the messaging service um, on I am responding. I hope this uh, I hope this uh, does something for you. The other thing too, guys, is any messages that were sent to you, you can actually view here too as well. And you can see your templates and scheduled messages as well. So that's the I am responding messaging run through on an Android device. Again, your profile has to be uh, enabled or allow uh, permissions have to be given to you to be able to send messages before you be able to see the functions in your I am responding app. So I hope this uh, I hope this works out and uh, helps you out. Thanks again. It's Daniel Cheeseman, Bridgetown Fire. Have a good night.